Let's talk J Shetty real quick. Maybe not real quick, because I don't know how far I'm going to go with this. 31 minutes, I'm not going to play the video. I'm just going to play a little bit of in the, the chunks, especially this dude, right? Now it's coming. I get a kick out of calling out bad dudes. I do it out of passion once in a while. I guess it's a moral obligation. I always mention that. My channel is reaction, whatever I find relevant. It's, it's not always calling out scammers or alleged scammers. It's alleged, accused. But what if you're convicted? Or what if you get convicted in the future? I'm just, yeah? Where am I going with this? All right. Jay Shetty. Now it's surfacing. All the videos and stuff. It goes pretty, quite some time back. And I remember all these dudes because of my marketing background. Almost 16 years. I'm a noob. A pleb. That's why I'm not there where they are. Because they're in the mainstream, main screen and all that. I'm just behind, under, you know, low tier. Just working, getting my hands dirty. And just to feed my cats. Yeah. Eating one meal a day, two meals a day. But keeping that aside, right? With my, I've seen Jay Shetty back then. And just like, why am I covering this? Selling courses, gurus, Hormozy. How does he make money? Acquisition. How does he make money? Partners with big dudes. And then what did he sell? Oh, okay. This poor guy. Move on. Bekur. Partners with Elio Turd. Both of them just shilling, pumping. Why do they not have the real names and real picture on X and just be real but no just use some alias so you can just scam these all the gen z's and get away with it right until knock 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 fbi it just happens once in a while but uh you never know what happens in the future people actually go back and dig your past but i'm not god i'm i can't judge i'm just a messenger spreading awareness so ladies and gents jay shitty back in 2019 all these dudes the reason is if you see it's like a circle and i i don't want to go totally off track but i also have to give you a few things because of context Kamirza, alex becker ty lopez the mozi all these dude click funnels if you just see the pattern webinar style upsell downsell side sales it's tired of all this bs man hey i'm not here to sell a course and then shoves up some partnership deal school hey school awesome group people making hundred thousand dollars a month oh wait 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 in the legal disclaimer it's everybody is gonna stay poor because only a few people make it. disclaimer we are not affiliated with fb meta whatever alphas for real man i'm surprised that they work coffee earlier on posted something look at this here that people drake's account got hacked yeah i know a little off topic what the what the f is a scam drake is promoting and this post is unavailable so someone says compromise did someone hack Zach's zax x account or he might just come and say alleged hey sim swap something happened so lost so easy to make money man look at this the amount of money just move in someone could just take over your account for hey drake can i take over your account just for a few minutes a seconds man let me just post a shill and then i'll just make a million i'll just move on how easy right ethical maybe not includes you know things that are outside the tradition. so before playing this let me do you a favor Summarize. Yeah, the entire video is summarized. Voidzilla delves into the intricate web spun by Jay Shetty. Okay, it's a little AI, but bear with me. Was celebrated as a beacon of mental health and spiritual wisdom. John McDermott's, that's the dude, I guess. Expose. In The Guardian uncovers the shaky foundations of Shetty's rise to fame. From his days as a self-proclaimed monk to his accent. Ascent. As a self-help guru on Facebook's booming video platform, Facebook, remember, shed his narrative appealing to millions with a blend of Eastern spiritualism and modern pop psychology, now faces scrutiny over its authenticity and real impact of his teachings. Digging deeper, the investigation challenges shed his claim to seamlessly merge empirical psychology with spirituality, revealing a strategy that skirts accountability with solid evidence. As Shetty leveraged celebrity endorsements and a vast social media following to sell his vision, the question arises, is the wisdom he preaches grounded in genuine spiritual experience or cleverly marketed self-help rhetoric? All right, I'll just keep it to that. This is important and this is pretty much the whole context. Yeah, but there are some parts of the video I wanted to show you. You see that? I said leverage celebrity endorsements. This guy got too popular. And ironically, he interviewed our president of the United States. The guy who gets called out by Coffeezilla. Not only that. And how do I get to, well, how do I relate to this? Let's recap a little bit. 2009, 19, I believe. That's when I found out Jay was copy pastaing motivational quotes. And yeah, they actually covered this later in the, in the segments. But that's what, that's how I discovered. I was like, hold on. Jay was so-called motivational. He was giving the speech and stuff. And I see everything. Like, why have to tell you about Moses and other... Because they have the similar pattern. All right? They'll come and say that... The, and I do this because, yeah, I've been, I'm been in that. I'm still in it. And I don't just practice the way they do. That's the thing. 
right? I'm just not that sneaky snaky. <laughs> I just come and spit it out the way it is. I have to give you some context because Alex Ramosi, all these dudes, they have the similar pattern. And if you notice, Facebook is that common ground as well. Marketing, Facebook, circle. And I'll, on, on top of that, Facebook, I mentioned running ads on Facebook. It's, it's very lucrative because the audience is kind of naive, hungry, consumer mindset. So, and Jay got his thing from there. He was copy pastang all his motivational stuff. He got caught. And that was basically, that's even surfacing, right? It was Nicole Arbor, who was also mentioned in this video, Coffee Sales video, full of F. And if you look at this video, we gotta realize that there's quick. a difference between talking shit. I'm just gonna play a little quick. <laughs> this was posted four years ago. And you can see this biggest fraud in online history. Yeah? See that? <laughs> Every single thing, literally. Whatever he's saying here on the video, look at that. So he adapted that dude, Jay Shetty. He adapted that personality, right? That character, alter ego. Man, I cover this all the time. Same thing with what I see in the crypto space. They don't care. They just keep getting more famous and famous. Unfortunately, that's the best part of it, basically, you know? <laughs> all I can do is just laugh it out. See, but I feel bad for the ones who are actually falling victim. Believe it or not, like, you must think, oh man, it must feel really bad to see them all the succeed while scamming, scamming. I'm like, yeah, but there are consequences. Death is the ultimate answer. And there are consequences. A lot of people, well, that's what keeps me where I am, right? So not everybody realizes that. But uh, again, I'll leave God take care of that. But at the same time, also makes me, uh, you know, well, I realize that there are less competition. Because if everybody falls those kind of narratives and falls victim, well, less competition, right? For the ones who don't, who can see the BS. Now, I'm actually going to go back to this. And this is what it is. Jay Shitty is a fraud. Jay Shitty, motivational code page run by scammer. Look at all the videos here. This is not latest, 2019 plus, right? And then, yet, you can look at this. Uh, these are the questions. What was Jay Shitty's famous code? How much Jay Shitty charge? People are willing to pay him. And he's making millions and millions and millions. Who's Jay Shitty's mentor? Whatever. Inspired. Ladies and gents, let's come back to this. Additional education realm as, you know, with Jay Shetty's life coaching course. But they said, yeah, we don't accredit these courses. We don't approve these courses. That is incorrect. Uh, I think to the earlier point about Jay's background is the story that he always tells is that he was going to business school and he was, you know, on a path to just become a typical corporate middle management guy. Um, and then he's 18 years old, his first year in business school. He goes to see a monk give a lecture and he's just totally blown away by this lecture. It completely changes his perspective and alters the trajectory of his life. He's so inspired by this man, this holy man who comes and gives a talk that he decides he's going to follow in his footsteps. He's going to learn from this person. And that's what inspires him to become a monk. This guy goes into the some problem with stuff. that is, is we right. found documentary evidence that Jay was part of the same religious organization as his monk since he was 14 years old. We found YouTube videos of him hanging out with monks prior to this supposed lecture of which there is no evidence that it even ever occurred we found evidence that he was hanging out with monks and participating in this religious organization before that lecture that lecture allegedly why would he lie about that what's a more i, I mean only jay knows the answer to that question but what's a more compelling narrative like oh you know my father was part of this orthodox hindu religious organization the Hare krishnas which we can get into them in a little bit uh, a little bit because i think that's relevant here um I don't want to go on that religious route right now, but yeah, this thing, I watched the entire episode, it's deep. And I wanted to actually play certain chunks, but literally, I gave you everything, right? You needed the summary. And Jay himself, let me give you my two cents now, and then I'm going to end this, right? The guy is selling a $7,000, if I'm not wrong, from this whole thing. $7,000 so-called coaching program to basically sell the shovel, and then allow, that's, uh, teaches you to sell shovel to others, like all the other retailers, plebs. This is like a triangular Ponzi, so-called, in a way. I would say affiliate marketing, but it could be done right. But this guy is a fraudster, meaning they couldn't verify his background, whatever stuff he said. So this is literally, it's not a crime crime, they, according to them. Because the ones I called out in the crypto space and stuff, blockchain fraud, they don't, they promised something, they didn't deliver, that's a, that's a crime, literally. But I don't know, they have this in the legal term, you can't sue us, just lit, lit, uh, saying uh, you will own nothing and you'll be happy. And that's a legal term, you sign up. Like you take it and you're like, yeah, accept. What? This is exactly the what's going on in the crypto space. So they can get away with it. They're about doing the crime. But on this online space where people are selling courses, it's a little gray area because not all courses are bad, right? Most are garbage, but not all are bad. So there are some who are legitimate, very few. I can only name one dude right now, although I'm not like 100% endorsing him because done like, you know, people can change. Dan Ko, 
And if you compare him with Alex Hormozzi, what did Hormozzi do? Like when Noah Kagan called him out and said, hey, blah, blah, blah. Like, what did he do? So besides, he said, I'm not here to sell courses. But if you go to acquisition, that it's registered, trademarked for selling courses and online marketing and stuff, man. So it's just hypocrisy to a level. And same thing, same pattern when I see this, right? I mean, people are not upfront. That's a problem. You have this all kind of BS. He continues to use other people's tweets, other people's Instagrams. And it's not like he's taking a screenshot of these posts and then posting a screenshot. He is repurposing them. Yep, that's what we talked. I, talk, I mentioned earlier on about copying pasta and all this stuff. I'm like, it's so easy to just get your fame doing, you know, do this and that and then come up with your course. But the irony that this dude has done interview with president, done interview with all the top celebs and stuff. What do you believe and what not to believe anymore? Right. Insane, ladies and gents. All I can tell you is like, be, be, be really cautious. Take a step back before you spend that hard on money. It's, it's sad, sad reality. I'm just here to spread awareness and that's about it, okay? And uh, yeah, maybe in the future when I sell my course. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm very straightforward, but no, 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 not here to sell courses. Academy, maybe, start an academy, which I'm working on actually. So yeah, that's what I have for you. Peace.